And is that? Elsa swept away two cars and the vegetable stalls in Grenada at Stormwatch level. She pounded several other Caribbean islands. Four days later, some Bajans still do not have electricity as Elsa reaps havoc throughout the country. Some of those affected recounted their experience with the press. Just as I lie down, it was just whoops! I sprang up the whole thing on flying. The rain was falling. We had no way to shelter. All we could do is hit to the front door and park there because three quarter come off and the next quarter was just keep flapping all the time. So we were setting if it's anything we go outside but yet you're scared to go out because the wind was that heavy. St. Vincent and St. Lucia also took a pounding. Over in St. Lucia, Prime Minister Alan Chastanet confirmed the death of one man following the passage of Tropical Storm Elsa, and in the Dominican Republic, two people died on Saturday when walls collapsed in high winds. Meanwhile, Cubans are bracing for Elsa's arrival, which is forecast to bring heavy rain to central parts of the island. Tonight on Beyond the Headlines, we will hear from the St. Lucian Prime Minister, officials at the Caribbean Disaster Management Agency, and journalists from our sister stations in the region. We relive the experience, examine lessons learned, and map strategies for the future. Join us on Beyond the Headlines from 8.35 p.m. Krista Campbell, GBN News.